Hey there, my brownies. Brownie blog number not 19 right here. That's right, 19. And I don't know about you, but if I was Steve Eiserman, I would feel stupid. Because, as I said back in uh, number 7 of my blog, uh, when I was talking about Team Canada selections, uh, Martin St. Louis was left off the roster, and it was a, it was a, it was an iffy choice. Like it was like you could leave him off, but you probably should take him. And now you definitely should have taken him, because now that he's not on the roster, the only way he can play for Team Canada is if there's an injury. But since since Steven Stamkos is hurt, he might not even play. So that spot will probably be opened up, but it will probably be filled by a center. But anyways. Martin St. Louis the other night scored four goals in a game, and he was the only the second player in Tampa Bay history to score four goals in a game, and he was like the last person to score four goals in a game in a long time. But anyways, he pretty much just said, what do you think now, Team Canada? Because he's just like, scores four goals that night, but it's all for nothing pretty much for impressing Canada because it's too late to take him. But I don't know. I, I would have left Kunitz off the roster if it was to take Martin St. Louis, but it was like, oh, let's bring Kunitz to fit with Crosby. And I'm like, well, yes, you could do that, but you could just take Martin St. Louis because he's obviously a very good player that should go. And anyways, another player you could have left off was Jeff Carter because that was just like, wait a second, what do you mean he's on the roster? Because... I, I don't know where he fits in. Like, is he the second-line center? Is he the third-line center? Or is he the fourth-line center? Because uh, I'm not even going to say first-line, because it's obviously Crosby. And then if Stamkos comes, it's obviously going to be... He's obviously going to be second-line. So where's where's Jeff Carter going to fit in? Why wouldn't you just take Martin St. Louis and have an extra winger and not an extra center? And I don't know. I would have taken St. Louis over any of the others snuffs I mean it's just obvious I mean he just scored four goals and tonight he got his 50th point in 50th game 50 games 50 points in 50 games and I'm just thinking to myself why would you not take a point per game player I mean obviously the four goal game puts him up a lot of points but still the thing is, is he's scoring constantly he's the he's scored the most points among any NHL player any NHL player since 2010 for, like, Team Canada, for Canadians, and I'm not sure for all Americans, but that's mainly because he had the Art Ross last year. But anyways, I don't I don't know why he was left off the team. He's an awesome player. He should have made the team. And I, I know it's horrible to say this, but I kind of, in the back of my head, hope there's an injury somewhere that he can fit in somehow because he just completely deserves to be in Sochi right now. Well, not right now, obviously, because the Olympics aren't happening, but he deserves to be going to Russia, and it's it's mean to say, but I really kind of in the back of my head hope there's an opening for him somewhere. But for all we know, it could be Stamkos who doesn't play because he's already injured. So if he doesn't get to play, I really, really hope that St. Louis will come. But also, if Stamkos is playing... And St. Louis, St. Louis is playing. They're their teammates, if you didn't know that. And they are some of the. They're one of the best scoring duos for for a long time. They're like scoring like crazy. Last year they were number one and two with Martin St. Louis being number one for points last year. Even though it was a lockout season, so it was like only forty eight games. But still, Martin St. Louis deserves to make that team by all means. And mean to hope for an injury, but I hope there's an injury, and for all we know, it just could be Stamkos who's already injured, so it's not that mean to say that, but anyways, that was the worst choice. I don't know. Iserman was probably saying not taking St. Louis because he was controversial and because it would look like he was being biased, but I don't care if you're being biased. Take the better player, and I don't know. Iserman should have spoke up when they were saying let's not take him because he's obviously the best player that got cut and he should have made that team. And, I don't know, any other hockey fans, what do you think of Team Canada? Is there any other snubs that you wish were on the team? Because there's, like, Claude Giroux and stuff, but St. Louis, I, I don't know how he didn't make that team. He's the one of the best players in Canada right now that's not on that. He is the best player that's not on that team right now. And so, just say what you think below, and keep 
remember, keep asking me some questions down in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. So, see you next time. And eat a brownie. And leave a comment while you eat the brownie. Bye. Brownies. And comments. Comments, too. Leave comments. And brownies. Not comments about brownies, though. So. Eat brownies. And make comments. Eat brownies. Bye, guys.